Welcome to my kitchen. So today we've had a special request for some gumbo. We've had gumbo, we've had good gumbo, we've had bad gumbo, but ain't nothing like gumbo from home. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna start with. Um, our base ingredients is what we're gonna have. This is just um, chopped up chicken breast. It's chicken breast. This is codfish. So I went to the deli and got cod and I cut it into bite-sized cubes. We have our adule sausage. So that is more New Orleans style sausage. It's a little spicy, but um, adds a nice kick. We're gonna have shrimp. We're gonna have our diced tomatoes. We have our onions, bell peppers, and actually we're gonna have okra. You cannot have gumbo without okra. So I do have the okra and I did not pull it out. I'm using my cast iron pan today. And it's already been warming up. So we're gonna put some vegetable oil in our cast iron pan. And so why do we like using our cast iron pan? Because it comes seasoned, it retains seasoning, it has a great flavor. So we're gonna use our cast iron pan today. And so we can get all of our flavors in. We're going to cook all of our ingredients in the same grease, okay? This grease will ultimately be our base for our gumbo. So I'm gonna start with the, the onions and the dulé sausage. We're gonna see go, my go-to spices and we're gonna do a separate video on that. But in general, we have some salt, we have some pepper, we have some seasoning salt and some garlic salt. Ultimately, everything is going to go into the gumbo, right? So what we're gonna do, whenever these ingredients come out, we're gonna dump it into our pot. We're already starting to smell the ingredients. Okay, so remember, we're still gonna cook it in our stock pot. So pretty much we're seasoning our roux. The roux is the base, it's like a gravy. Um, so they call it a roux. So we're gonna scoop it out. And you just put some vegetable oil in the pan. Vegetable oil, yes. Okay. Will you end up having to add more vegetable oil the more you cook different things for more sauce or more roux? Mm, we'll see. Okay. Technically, no. If we just was gonna use it right now, I would be okay. But now I want to season the chicken also. Mm -hmm. Remember our grease has some seasoning to it, right? Mm -hmm. So this is compound seasoning. It adds up the taste, the flavor. The, mm -hmm, adds so up. you don't have to shake as much on it. Mm -hmm. But we're still gonna shake, shake. You gotta shake, shake. Salt, pepper, garlic, Larry mm -hmm. seasoned salt. Mm -hmm. And I, I got this from Auntie Fee. <laughs> <laughs> Rest her soul. <laughs> I miss her. So I remember whenever I was in um, Fort Campbell, Kentucky, I was stationed there. And my roommate at the time, her name was Brandy, and she was from Texas. Every time she went home, her grandmother would send her, would make her gumbo. It would be like in a car wash bucket. Oh, wow. A big old bucket of gumbo. And then when you open up the lid, it would have like a whole crab spread across it. Oh, I mean. It was, I was so good. I wasn't ready. Oh, you didn't try I it. Mm -mm. I wasn't ready, but for every time she would bring home this gumbo. Mm. And um, I just wasn't ready back then, but back then I didn't eat. You have to think where I come from. We didn't, I never had crab legs before. Mm -hmm. So when I looked over in that pot and seen that whole crab laying across in there, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> and now you're a seafood lover. Yes, I was not raised. Only seafood we had was fish. Be lucky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What we're gonna do, this is our codfish. Mm -hmm. Codfish is a firm fish. It should stay together and it's a very delicate fish and it's meaty and it's a wonderful fish to cook with. But I started a small cast iron pan with a little bit of vegetable oil simply because I don't want the fish to crumble up 
and um, mess up my gravy. Does that make sense? So we're gonna do this in a separate dish. And because the fish actually is so delicate, you wanna put that in last. And so our chicken looks the way that we want, it looks the way that we want to look now, okay? So with our cod, we're not gonna stir it to death, okay? We don't want it to break apart. Right. Fish is very delicate. <laughs> so I had to pull out the cod fish because it was starting to tear up a little, but it was gonna do that to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. So now we pulled it aside and we're gonna set it aside until we are, um, till this other stuff cooks down more. Now we're gonna go back to our brew. Our roux. We're gonna go back to our roux. Now remember we started off with a half a cup of vegetable oil. Now we're gonna put about a half a cup of all-purpose flour. So now this is our base. Let's see how. I don't like, so this is cute, but we can't use this. We gotta <laughs> move this off when it's not cute. All right, so you sit, you remember how the color was? Look at how rich and brown it is now. But pretty much, you had to keep stirring it the whole time. Okay. We'll open up our chicken stock, mm -hmm. and we're gonna add this to our gravy. To make an extra gravy. All right, so you guys see that this is thinner than gravy like you would have on gravy on mashed potatoes. So the reason we want it that way because it's gumbo, right? Mm -hmm. So actually we're gonna um, top it off with more water. Gumbo is more in the family of a soup. So it's not going to be like gravy that you would put on mashed potatoes, okay? So your, our tomatoes, we're gonna go ahead and put our tomatoes over. Now, what we're going to do, we're gonna go ahead, it's time to put our roux with our other ingredients. Right. Now, I'm gonna go get us more water. So now we have most of our ingredients in our pot. We're gonna let this simmer for 45 minutes. When we come back, we're gonna add our quick ingredients. We're gonna add our okra, we're gonna add our fish, our codfish, and we'll add our shrimp. Alrighty. All right, so now we're gonna add our okra. We've been letting it simmer, so it was on a low simmer. So this is what you have. So now we turned it up so we can add some of our quick cooking, quick cooking ingredients. So we have our okra. Actually, I'm gonna let the okra stay in two minutes and then I'll add my fish. All right, so we got our okra mostly done. We're gonna take our codfish. We're gonna take our shrimp. And Jaden is allergic to shellfish, so she always, always has to have some without seafood, any seafood in it. Okay. So here we go, Zatarans. They are famous for their New Orleans style seasonings and and it actually thicken it up some more and add the original, the um, the New Orleans style seasoning to it. 
This is actually very hard to find. You, you have to go to more upscale, upscale grocery stores to find it. Zatarin's Gumbo, pure ground gumbo fowl. All right, we're ready. Let's see. So we went ahead and plated our rice at the bottom. Mm. See our delicious gumbo. All of our ingredients are in here. Mm. Try it. It's good. It's a little bit too hot for me to try right now, but <laughs> I'm trying to eat it. Mm -hmm. The coffee is really good. Huh? Oh, you can pick it. I hope you enjoy my seafood gumbo. See you next time.